Integrator Plus is built on the Windows Azure platform and resides between Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Intact. As you can see from the graphic, customer and account information is a two-way integration between both systems. Customer address information and CRM comes over to Intact as contacts, which is basically address information in Intact. Some data is mastered in your accounting system, so these objects use a one-way integration from Intact to CRM. These objects would include items, price lists, and unit of measure. These objects will be imported into CRM to be used with your sales process objects, such as opportunities and sales orders. Sales order information is a two-way integration. It is usually created inside Dynamics CRM as an order and submitted to Intact. Once that is processed, it will turn into a sales invoice in Intact, which then creates an invoice back in CRM. Then, when payment is made from the customer into the Intact system, the payment information will come back over to Dynamics CRM as well. Let's look at some of this information. For today's purpose, we're going to go into Microsoft Dynamics CRM first and pull up an account. You can see at the bottom of this account record, we have a field named Sync to Intact. Since only your customers purchasing supplies or the ones purchasing goods and services from you will need to be integrated with Intact, this field allows you to designate only these customers to be integrated with Intact. Now if we make a change here to the address information or to another field in the account area inside Dynamics CRM and save that information, it will not only be saved in CRM, but Integrator Plus will also automatically send the data to Intact. Again, because this field is marked as Sync to Intact, the information will flow back and forth. As you can see, a significant amount of your general information, such as address and other account information, can be synced between the two systems. If you have additional addresses inside Dynamics CRM, those will come over into Intact as well as contact records. Another item synced between the two systems is ownership. We keep the ownership of the accounts, sales orders, and invoices that are captured in CRM and set those inside of Intact, so ownership is recorded and consistent between both systems. Now let's switch to Intact. If I search for and bring up that record by customer name, you can see the address information has changed to the edited version. Since this is a two-way integration, if we make a change here in Intact, that change will go back over into CRM as well. Additionally, if you have a customer that you put on hold inside Intact, for instance, that information will also flow back over into Dynamics CRM. Let's go back into Dynamics CRM and go through a normal sales process inside Intact. We're going to start with an opportunity inside CRM. This is normal CRM functionality that we're using right now. We're going to create and save an opportunity with a quick start and then open that opportunity inside Dynamics CRM. Now we're going to add a description into the CRM opportunity. Next, we will add our items into the opportunity. The first thing we do is select our price list. Notice Integrator Plus has automatically brought our price list information over from Intact into CRM. We're going to choose a base price list. We will go ahead and save that because we need to do this first as normal CRM functionality before we can add products associated to that price list. Now that we have that price list here, we will go under our products area and select to add a product and then choose a product. Then, we'll choose to recalculate the opportunity. Notice the estimated revenue here at the top will then fill out the information once that record is saved. For your normal course of business inside CRM, you will go through your sales cycle that you built for your workflow stages. Once we have that information, then we can create a quote if we choose. Here's our quote in the system. We have our products here. We can add additional products into the system. If you have a scenario in which you have multiple quotes, you can put those in the system. Once we have a quote that you and the customer agree on, simply click Activate. 
This results in an activated quote in the system. If we close this and refresh the page, we'll see our quote shows in Dynamics CRM as well. Now we are going to create an order from a quote inside Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Note, we have not integrated anything at this point with Intact. This allows us to create our order from our quote information. CRM does this by clicking OK. This is where our integration with Intact begins. We can add additional shipping information or ship to information addresses if needed. We can even add a product if we need to at this time. We want to make sure we have our price list in the system which should be here. You also want to double check that the fields required of CRM are filled out. We can add the shipping method here. The shipping method and payment terms need to be matched to Intact because you want to make sure to keep in sync between the two systems. This is also true of payment terms. We will save the order with the information we changed to commit it to the system. Then we submit that order. When we submit the order, Integrator Plus automatically sends this information over to Intact. You can see this order has been submitted. If we go out to the customer information and look under Sales Orders, we see we have our new sales order here. This order has been submitted into Intact as well. Let's go to Intact to see that our new sales order has been entered into Intact. If we look at the sales orders in Intact, we'll see that Integrator Plus brought the sales order we created in Dynamic CRM over to Intact. If we click on Edit to take a look at that information, we can see Integrator Plus automatically brought over our item, price information, ownership, shipping information, and payment terms. Generally, the accounting system will take control at this point. We'll take the sales order and convert that to a sales invoice. If there is tax that needs to be added to this sales invoice and the customer is taxable, it will then add tax at that time. Once all the information is correct, we will post that invoice. Integrator Plus automatically integrates the invoice information created here and posted in Intact with Dynamic CRM. We'll take a look at that in a moment. At this point, we will follow our normal course of business inside Intact. For instance, if the sales invoice normally goes to the customer, the customer processes that invoice and they submit payment. The next thing we will do inside Intact is receive the payment for the invoice. We click on Receive Payment here to pull up the customer information. This will show us all the invoices available for that customer. We will open the invoice and, for our purpose today, we will assume that invoice was paid in full by a check number. We're going to receive full payment for that invoice. We see that we have the information here, so we are going to click Save. Integrator Plus integrates the payment information we just processed in Intact with Dynamic CRM. This allows our salespeople to go into Dynamic CRM and see that the invoice was paid and by what method. Let's go back into Dynamic CRM. Press F5 to refresh the screen and scroll to see if our invoice information appears. We can see the last invoice marked Complete is the one we just did. If we look at the invoice in the system, we'll see that it did apply the tax information calculated inside Intact. Integrator Plus also brought over the item information and the information that is relevant to this invoice. We did apply a payment to this invoice. If we look at the invoice and at payments associated to that invoice, we'll see the payment that we applied to this invoice. If we open that record, we can see the amount applied to this invoice. The payment reference would be the check number that we received from the customer. The payment information is also available at the account level in Dynamic CRM. If we look under Payments, we'll see the payment information for the invoice that we received. This concludes our demonstration of Integrator Plus. For more information about how Integrator Plus can seamlessly integrate Intact with Microsoft Dynamics CRM, 
log on to lbmctech.com or give us a call. We look forward to hearing from you.